Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech. All right, so as most of you know, iOS 10 is available for a test drive. And in this video, I want to showcase iOS 10 running on an actual iPhone SE side by side with an iPhone 6S and observe some of the missing features due to the lack of 3D touch on the SE. And of course, as you know, 3D touch is only available on the 6S and 6S Plus and later. So the first thing I want to look at are the missing features in the notifications panel and the control center. Let's dive in. So first and foremost, let's take a look at the notifications panel. Let's pull down the notifications panel on both of these phones. And as you can see, they look exactly the same. However, the way you interact with the notifications is slightly different. Now, one thing I do have to say that in this category of the notifications, you're not actually missing a feature. It's only the way you interact with the feature is different. So let's take a look at that messaging uh, uh, notification right there. On the iPhone 6S, you can perform a 3D touch, which means you press your uh, finger on the screen. And that brings up a conversational text window. And from here, obviously, you can have a conversation with anybody that you want and you can continue having the conversation. Now, the good news is on the iPhone SE, even though you lack the 3D touch feature, you can do the exact same thing simply by swiping to the left. So when you swipe to the left, you get two options instead of one option that you get on the iPhone 6S or the 6S Plus. And let me show you what I mean by that. So if I go back out here, if I swipe this over, as you can see, I only get the clear option. Over here, what I can do is, so let's clear that for a minute. And over here, let's do a 3D touch, which I just show you, to perform the same function that I just established by using 3D touch, I simply tap view on the iPhone SE. So that's the difference as far as interacting with some of these notifications go. So let's see that one more time. Pull down, pull down, press and hold to bring up the text window. Over here, you swipe over to the left and click view, and it brings up the same exact thing. And of course, it's the same with every other notification. So even if I play with Twitter, I can basically press and hold on uh, the iPhone 6S, and I can slide over to the left on the SE, and that brings up the same option, tap on view, and we have identical options, and then you can just tap away um, and get rid of all these things. All right, so let's move on to the control center. Let's pull up the control center on each of these phones. And this is very simple. On the iPhone 6S, because you have 3D touch, you can perform a 3D touch, and that gives you uh, more in-depth options for these quick shortcuts at the bottom. So with the clock, you get this. I'm sure you already know about this. Uh, with the camera, you get the option to take a photo, take a selfie, and all the other options. But on the iPhone SE, because you do not have the um, 3D touch, you cannot do any one of these guys. So you cannot press and hold. It's not going to work in any way. It just does a quick on and off or it simply launches the uh, shortcut that you press. So that's one actual missing feature you're not going to get on the iPhone SE. Now a newer feature that was added to iOS 10 for 3D Touch is if you press and hold on an icon on an application that you got from the App Store, it allows you to actually share that app. So I tapped on the studio application, I can share the studio application using different mediums. So let's tap and hold, tap on share, and then as you can see from here, I can uh, share this using various mediums with anybody that I choose to do so. And of course, on the iPhone SE, because we lack 3D touch, when I actually press and hold on any icon, any app icon, it simply, simply uh, gives me the option to delete apps. And again, one more thing that is new to iOS is with certain apps, when you do perform a 3D touch, it doesn't just bring options. It actually brings a little widget on top that gives you some really useful information. So you can get a lot of information without actually launching the app itself. You can get a lot of information just by that widget view. And again, because we don't have 3D Touch on the iPhone SE, we do not get to enjoy this nice widget view. All right, so let's launch the messages application on both of these phones. And as you know, with iOS 10, you get some really, really nice features with iMessage. The great news is all those features are in fact available on the iPhone SE. However, the way you access them is slightly different than the way you access them on the 6S, 6S Plus or later. So let me show you how. Let's just say hi for the 50th time. 
and on the iPhone what you have to do is you have to do a 3D touch and that brings up this menu from where you can actually send various bubbles or you can actually send um, uh, specific screens. So if I scroll over, you know, you've got this confettis, uh, you've got the disco and all these nice options or you can send them messages uh, as a slam, you can send them as a loud message, gentle and invisible skin. So on the iPhone SE, you can do the same thing. All you do is, let's just type in hi, instead of doing a 3D touch, you just press and hold. And that brings up the same exact options, slamming, uh, the screen options, the screen options right over here, confetti, discotheque and all that. So you do not need 3D touch to access these nice features. And finally, the same thing applies in the music app. In the music app, you can access some nice functionality simply by pressing firmly on the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus or later. So let's tap on this thing and I'll show you the menu that comes right up. So press firmly on the screen, perform a 3D touch and boom, you get a nice little menu. You can get the same thing done on the iPhone SE. But instead of doing a firm press, you simply press and hold. Let's do a press and hold. And there we go. It's the same exact menu. The only thing that's on the iPhone SE is you, in fact, have a cancel button. Okay. And on the other phone, you can just tap away. And on this, you just cancel away. All right. So that's basically all we have. As you can see, all of these missing features are directly related to 3D touch. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Saki Tech, and make sure you drop a comment below uh, expressing your thoughts, your concerns, and I'll see you the next time with a new video.